Now, right off the top of my head, Ian, <clears throat> it is your two-year anniversary, is it not? Of working here. Yeah, full-time. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> I mean, that's incredible how the time goes by, isn't it? I can't believe uh, you've been here for two years, and you've and only just been elevated to a salaried employee. Yeah, it was a long climb, but finally made it. No, time flew by. It's crazy. I can't believe it's been two years. It's no, it is. Wild. It is crazy. Yeah. It's totally. You know what blew my mind uh, even more than that is just Zach had been here for a year, right? And that, I mean, yeah. Zach, really sweet young mind. Zach, is green as green as a as a field after spring, <laughs> and he's been here a year. Although he's Zach, this is just going to turn into me complimenting Zach <laughs> on Ian's <laughs> anniversary. Zach has really uh, developed, blossomed into a fine young man who really rides the soundboard all the way to Valhalla. <laughs> but we're not here to, to celebrate Zach. <clears throat> Zach's sultry voice. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> no, we're here to celebrate Ian, who has come such a long way. Ian, who cold emailed us, who, <laughs> who worked his way into our heart and our minds and into our collective souls. Um, Ian the intern tell me about your two years of experience here with us Ian uh, Well the first I Didn't even appear on camera for like six months. It was right. You were the very beginning. Mysterious. Yeah, it was like a running gag <laughs> Right, I forgot that we, we never showed your face not show him right. Yeah, I remember we did a, when we did that live show No one knew who I was <laughs> <and> then, <laughs> Like I was selling merch and people were like wait are you like Ian that we've never <laughs> seen before? Oh, uh, yeah, at the live show, right? Yeah, yeah. the info. Ah, how things have changed for you. And now you're kind of a bit of a celebrity. Do you feel that way? I mean, you get recognized on the streets. You have women <laughs> applying to date you. It's turned into a whole thing for you, hasn't it? It's been an experience. Uh, it's been great, though. I, I've loved working here. It's been a lot of fun. I've and then is wearing so a shirt it. with your face on it. Kawaii as fuck. H2H3Shop.com. Support the nation. <laughs> that looks good. I don't know what's all the hate. I mean, it looks good. All the what shirts are really there? great. Hold on. What are you talking about? Where all the hate? I mean, not hate, but people aren't <laughs> buying it. It's the least bought shirt. I mean, people people are buying it. It just happens to be the least bought. Yeah, it's like Somebody. 50. Well, people bought like 500 of Ela and like 50 of Ian. <laughs> but don't take that as a slight to you, Ian. It just says. No. It's just a little gay to wear that as a man. I mean, it's no big deal. It's shattered my confidence, and but that, it's hard for me to look people in the eye anymore. But rock, I'll man. be fine. You get your, your, fuck, man. Your, 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 yeah, it's okay. Your, we know the true strength that is Ian, the, the salary <laughs> boy. And how do you think that you've developed over the years? I mean, how have you taken to celebrity? <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'd go that far. <laughs> Thank. Well, you do get recognized on the street by people that don't know who you are, so that is celebrity. So, what's How that? How frequently does yeah. that happen? Um, maybe like I don't know, like once a week or something. Oh. That's quite that's, frequent. Yeah, so, I remember that's quite when, frequent. When we started that was, to get it I, once a week. That wasn't until we had like million, a million yeah. plus subs. So, damn. Yeah. No, it was the other day when I said that I went to the movies, and the guy working there. Came up to me and he said, "Are you Dan from the HD podcast?" <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, good. that's no respect to you or Dan. <laughs> well, um, Dan I want to on. The, we got to Dan and he's on this phone. Dan, what the fuck? Are you, we're doing a show here. <laughs> if it's not chips, it's phones. What are you texting? <laughs> Ian outed you. I'm did you do that on purpose, Ian? I no, don't I think didn't. So. We she just said Dan, Dan, and then I clicked the Dan cam. You yeah. should do that. <laughs> Dan, who are you texting? I, Jesus. I am emailing somebody in relation to the show. Okay. <laughs> oh. All right. I'll buy it. Is it the somebody? Who's the somebody? What? Now I'm confused. It's true. Dear PJ. Dear PJ. What the hell are you talking about, you? <laughs> now I'm confused as hell. Is there something I don't know? I don't know what you're talking about. Either. Wait, is there some? Oh, I see. No, it's not PJ. Papa PJ, John. Yeah. We're in touch oh, with Papa John. Oh, oh, oh PJ. <laughs> let's get to that. Unfortunately, it's not. No. We're here okay. to celebrate Ian. Yeah, let's stay on track. Young, sweet Ian, who um, has been here for two years full time. I wanted to go out of my way to get you a special something, Ian. So I think I've done something that uh, you're going to appreciate. 
Okay. And I'm very excited to share it with everybody here. Oh, boy. I'm very excited. <laughs> so here Don't we go. trust that smile on your face. I promise you're going to love this, and everybody's <laughs> going to love this. Oh, no. Hang on. So for your two-year anniversary, I have this announcement for you. Oh, God. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Ian? It's Mark McGrath from the band Sugar Ray. Hey, off Mark. the charts, but always, <laughs> always in your, in your hearts. And uh, Ethan wants to let you know something. Um, man, these, these never get easy. Uh, things are getting tough around the office. Um, oh, no. And unfortunately, at this time, and I know it's tough around the holidays, Ethan is going to have to let you go. Uh, unfortunately, money's tight right now. You know, oil prices around the world are going crazy, and it's affecting Ethan's business, and he's going to have to let you go. He just can't afford to keep you around anymore. Uh, you've been a great employee, a great friend, and he hates to do this to you during the holiday season, and he thought the best way to let you know that you're fired was through me. Um, Ian, I wish you the best. You know, a lot of cliches kind of come into mind right now when something like this is happening to you. You know, when the chips are down. You know, when one door closes, another door opens. Mm. Um, mm. So true. You know, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Yeah. It's not how many times you fall down, it's how many times you get back up. You know what, so I'm happy, right. Ethan that's, and everybody. Wow. Yeah. Uh, we wish you the best. Ian, you're more than capable. It's not... It's not us, it's you. Okay, but happy holidays and the best to you and your family, but uh, we're going to be letting you go at this time. On behalf of Ethan and Mark McGrath, you've been a, uh, a wonderful employee. We wish you the best in the future. So, uh, Sorry, Ian. Well, yeah, Sorry, I mean, it Ian. is bad news, ultimately. I did spend $100 on that, but... <laughs> that did lessen the blow, I think. Like, you know, he he was very kind about it. I, do I have to give the dollar back? No, you can keep. You the can dollar. keep the dollar as a severance. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but do pack your shit up. But this is your last day here, <laughs> yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna have to let you go, buddy. Um, well, thanks, Mark. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> That's something special, I gotta say. You know, I'm I'm not too upset about it. Mark really kind of, you know, assured me, made me feel comfortable. He's got a real way with words, though. He does. I think he has a talent for cameos. That's what Ela said. He made it really nice. I think that uh, Mark needs to be the guy who just breaks bad news for people now. <laughs> for a hundred bucks, he'll break any bad news for you. I Do you love think how that... he really takes the role. Like he's like he's HR. I'm sorry, but we are gonna have to let <laughs> yeah, you go. Yeah. Like, do you think he knows that? People are goofing on him in this way because he seems very sincere and earnest with this. I think, um, I think he's loving it. I think he's loving this, <laughs> and I hope that he's getting lots of cameo business. I hope he's flourishing, and uh, it's not, it's not him, it's us. <laughs> that line was great. Did you? Yeah. He goes, "It's not, it's not us, it's, it's, not you. Us, it's you." Yeah, that no, was he was, he was. I think he was enjoying it. <laughs> I, he, I think he's on board. How weird is it that we could just pay a hundred dollars? Yeah, and get... cameo trips me out. I was looking for an artist to get you a special message, and then I was scrolling through, <laughs> and I saw Mark McGrath, and I was like, "Oh my god, bro!" <laughs> no, that's great. That's the best one you could have got. <laughs> you know, he puts a lot of effort in too. I'm I'm very happy with Mark's uh, service he provided to us. <laughs> um, but after two long years, it's been a solid ride. We've enjoyed having you, but uh, as Mark said. We're going to have to let you go at this time. <laughs> okay. Well, bye, everyone. Uh, it's been real. Well, you have I'll to stay you. till the end of the episode. <laughs>